What's up guys? Today we're playing Epic 7 and today we're on our subscriber account. I'm calling this one Sun Buddy to Love. I do love this background panoramic view of all of the beach heroes hanging out, doing beachy things. I think it is awesome. I thought it was really funny, but now that I'm kind of thinking about it, maybe I could have come up with something better. I guess I kind of failed at that. Today we're going to go in and look at this account in depth. We're going to re-gear some heroes and start to achieve some of our goals. Honestly, this account is really good. It's pretty stacked. I think that we have some minor things that we can accomplish. And you know, what? one of the first things that I had seen on this account when I logged in midday, the player had already been playing for a while, but they were not completing any of their ad energy. Each one of these ads is five to 30 seconds long and you're missing out at 100 energy per day. So make sure that you come in and do this. That's gonna be five extra hunts, right? It's going to be more gear, more gold, more materials, make sure that you're coming in and doing this especially if you're a free player if you love the game they're not making money off of you to be a free player so come in and at least give them a little bit of ad revenue it doesn't hurt and you gain a good benefit now we're going to come into expedition i noticed this yesterday as well is that we have all these expeditions that have not gone out and it could be because they're not doing hunt right but if you're not doing hunt you're not getting expeditions, then what this means is that you're not getting reforged materials. Every one of these hunts, even when you fail the hunt, is going to give you reforged materials. Come in, click the embark button, and if you don't want to play it, that's totally cool. Totally cool. Just click on to start, click on to yield, and at least give players who are going into the open recruitment a chance to get some of this stuff. You get 25,000 gold there, very nice. And then you can click in open recruitment. I actually don't like to do this. I think it's shady. People do it and uh, I don't really understand it. At least help a little bit, at least help a little bit. And that way you're able to kill that boss a little bit faster. But make sure that you're doing all of these expeditions. I see that they bought out the purchase which is good that gives you some reforged materials and looks like they probably bought it last month as well very nice um, but you're not getting the most out of your expeditions when we come into the reputation they have 87,000 which is good we have some things here just mostly for pets expedition 80 times by this point you should have maxed this completely out, if for nothing else, for the reforged materials. That way you can get an extra reforged or two. So I definitely recommend doing that. And then coming down here, we have some arena. Man, if I was playing this more, I'll get you Legend 1. I think I could do it. And we, we know Hollow Trials sucks. It does. I get it. But Hunt, you can totally do that. Labyrinth, you can totally do that. We, I think, will get you this um <laughs> specimen says emoji i don't know if you're an emoji guy i'm not uh i find a reason randomly to use the straws emoji i don't even see him here anyway i have a straws emoji i wonder where i got him but um i do like to use that and just just sort of randomly just to say you know what i did dagger's car i got some cool stuff and uh you guys should think i'm cool as well the very first thing I want to do today is I want to go into the hunt. You need to be able to do Wyvern 13 or Banshee 13. Hopefully you can do both on auto battle and you need to beat at least Wyvern 13 before you get to the shield phase. Then I want you to be able to do KD 13 as well so you can open up some of the uh, gear for Torrent and also for your um, pen set. Now we can see here that it's not bad so far. Okay, so your Seaside Bologna should go before both of these. That way she can go do her S3, they hit you, and then you do your S2, and that will help you clear this first stage faster. I don't think that you have enough damage to be able to do this boss in a decent amount of time. So we're going to need to work on your W13. Now we want to see a defense break right here. Let's see if your 
Nope. So we need to make your uh, defense breaker faster or really slow so that he can land it on the first turn of Wyvern. And your Free Egg is getting smoked. Okay, not bad. Here we go. We do not land it. You need to have a 65% here to make sure that you land your defense break. Now your Briag is dead and the run is over. So let's go ahead and go and see how we can fix these heroes and maybe we can run this a little bit faster today. In our video, we saw that Briag was getting murdered. So we're going to beef him up a little bit. Now what I want to see from a Briag is something like 22, 23 K at least 1300 defense you need 85 percent onto your crit chance and then we only need to have about like 20 25 onto effectiveness because he gets the effectiveness buff so this is going to improve your brig now we also want to have a little bit more damage because we can use him into all of expeditions so we're going to get rid of this and see what other artifact that we have that he's going to work on now it's possible we don't have a decent artifact so we might have to keep it on him, but I, I prefer to run other kinds of artifacts. Because you're using him into boss fights only and not in PvP, you can go with your Steadfast Guardian. I think that would be okay. I like to see him on two different kinds of artifacts, though. When we're looking at Seaside Bologna, I want to see about 4,300 attack here. I want to see 85% crit chance and then about 300 crit damage with about 180 to 185 speed. Now I'm really not able to do that on this account right now. So we're gonna go ahead and test her out this way, speed set with the attack pair of boots. Now, once you're able to reforge these pieces, one, two, three pieces to reforge. And I think that we also need to come in and do a crit chance right here. Then you're gonna be able to hit these marks, I think. And then now the Seaside Bologna will be able to uh, one shot that first wave. Well, let's go and test her out after we finish up our last hero. Eventually, we'll max this out as well. The next step is to swap out that Furious for now a Mui. Now, this Mui I wanted to specifically use onto free gear or mostly free gear. This one looks like a level 90, um, but I want to give him on base okay stats with 65% effectiveness to show you if he can do it on these stats. So let's go in and check out our new W13 team and see if they can beat it before that shield phase. Here we go, I'm really curious. I haven't run this yet. Uh, let's see what we see. We have our Brieg onto the uh, counter set, so that's good. We can get him some extra counters and maybe he can put up his shield a little bit faster. We see that the Seaside Bologna is not fast enough but she is fast enough to go before that last guy so now she's going to use her s2 okay very good and we cleared the first wave before we get a cigarette that's what i want to see now we see some brig action can i get a counter no counter all right come on you guys can do it i believe in you Defense break. Then the arrogance of a fool. Defense break. Now we get one good shot from Cigarette. That puts the boss down below the threshold for her S number two. But we're missing one of our debuffs. So we really needed to have like a Mui land a debuff there. We really needed to have the um, Seaside land a debuff on her first turn. But looks like we're back on track. Very nice. And now this one should pretty much finish it. Now if we get the Brig onto a damage artifact, then he's going to do even better. But look at that. This boss is dead before the shield phase. We're at 1 minute and 43 seconds. And we still could improve this a little bit better. Now let's look at the C13 team. They have beaten C13, but they don't have a team set up for it. So this leads me to believe that they're not farming it. Either they're going through and they are getting 
the torrent and the pen set through rift or they're just not getting it at all and that's going to hold you back in pvp so here's a team that i would like to use let's go for sinful angelica we will we'll leave this azaria there now let's go in and pick up the commander lorena now the commander lorena was pretty good uh, already and we're gonna need to have a camilla camilla not even built what in the world not built no camilla i don't know how you survive bro how do you survive we're gonna build up these heroes and see what they look like that way we can now hopefully one shot this c13 the only thing really wrong with this sinful angelica is that she's too slow too slow we want her to be able to go before our damage dealers that way she is able to land her buffs so we're just going to swap out her boots real fast and test this out now i think 182 is probably a little too fast but we're gonna see um let's go ahead and we're gonna move on to camilla next we're not gonna strip anyone for camilla now she's not perfect she's not i want to get about seven percent more effectiveness and then I think that, uh, I think she would be okay. But kind of what I'm seeing is that I don't have any kind of gear, especially onto the chest. That's something like crit, crit damage effectiveness to put on some of these heroes. So like this one here, effect resist, not ideal. A speed, you don't necessarily need. That's a good combination that I think that you should watch out for crit crit damage speed effectiveness you cannot get attack onto a chest plate so it can be something like a defense or an hp if it doesn't roll into those and rolls into all these well now we can have this onto some of your damage dealers that use speed set or use one of these offsets but i think that's kind of what i'm missing when i'm looking through some of this gear is we're seeing things like effectiveness speed hp defense but we're not seeing anything with you know speed attack effectiveness crit damage i guess like this one would be really good this one here would be really good except that it is on to the hit set and i don't have any crit or i don't have any speed that i can put here so let's go ahead we're going to try this build out and see how far we can get now when we're running c13 we're going to turn off camilla and we're going to turn off the lorena as well we're going to get that attack buff for Camilla through our now sinful Angelica. So let's see how this works. We get a defense break. Very good. Now we should see a buff. Now another th reason you turn off the skills is because on Azaria's next turn, we want her to reset this um, sinful Angelica only and not the other ones. Okay, very nice. We get through the very first wave. I'll be happy if this works. I just threw it together and I haven't really tested it yet. Okay, no defense break there, but now we see that we get Sinful Angelica. She's too fast. Too fast. We want her to go after this boss. So let's go ahead and stop it here. And I think I know what the problem is. Let's go ahead and click try again and take a look at this Camilla. We're going to go back to our Camilla. Oh, yep. We see it. I see it already. She is at her imprint here. We need to go with an imprint concentration. You've got 13. I don't even feel guilty. Sorry. Don't feel guilty. Uh, <laughs> and now we're going to go in and try this one more time with a now a little bit slower Sinful Angelica. We don't need Idol's Shear here, but we're testing it out to see exactly how she works. Then we'll switch out her artifact. I will lend you the power. There is our attack buff. Take another's life. An opening. I'm ready. So nice. Now this is your Lorena. I haven't changed her, so she is doing great. We reviewed Lorena and the Azaria in our last video. There's the reset onto Sinful. We get no buff here. Still too fast, though. Too fast. So let's go in and reduce our Sinful Angelica just a few so that she goes after this boss. 
Here we go. This is exactly what we want to see. We want to see that sinful down and go after the boss so she can remove the debuffs um, on her first turn. Now you can put her on Doctor's Bag and she'll remove both the debuffs, but right now she only removes the one. Still, she should be enough as long as we have enough damage here, then we'll kill this boss. I'm at one minute exactly, so hopefully we can get this done in the next 30 seconds. And now you'll have a decent Katie's team. Anybody there? I'm ready. I'm to you. Oh, very close, very close. We needed just a little bit of damage to get it done on that turn. But here comes Camilla, and at one minute and twenty-four seconds, now we have what's basically a one-shot Katie's team. Let's go ahead and look at the final stats. And we're going to start with our Sinful Angelica here. Now, the Sinful Angelica is only level 50. If you wanted to, you could promote her to level 60, and then you can level her up in the Kades, which is super awesome. Save yourself some of your um, penguins there. All right, so we get about 200 effect resist. That's good. 177 speed. Maybe I would reduce this one or two more to about 175. The... Exclusive equipment doesn't matter. In fact, if this was any faster, we'd have to reduce her gear even further, right? Is there another one that might work? I don't think so. And then she's on Idol's Cheer. You can put her onto Warhorn. You can put her onto Super Duper Water Gun Shooter, which I always say is hilarious to say. And that will give more damage. Also, we don't need this extra 13%. So if you're having trouble with your damage, Go ahead and turn off her skill imprint uh, concentration and then she'll be a little bit better. Now let's come to Camilla. Now this Camilla is going to work out just fine in a lot of your content. I want about six or seven more effectiveness. That way our run is a little bit safer. But this is a good Camilla. You can use her in Hall of Trials. You can use her into a lot of content. And you're going to get it basically once you reforge this gear. Non-reforged gear just sitting around. Daydream Joker, you can put her onto, I think it's called like the Falling Seasons or I Love Fall or I don't know. You can put her onto an artifact that does more damage onto single target attacks or more damage against bosses and she will be good. I built those two heroes. Now we come to Azaria. Did not build this hero, but she's fine. You have a little too much effectiveness. We can get her down to 65% but she'll work out pretty good. You can use this one into your Abyss level 102, uh, and she'll work out fine. We actually don't need her onto Candlestick, so you can feel free to switch up her artifact. I like Glow Wings. I like Glow Wings, because this is going to give you a barrier and help you through that uh, any damage that you take. Maybe if you miss a defense break or something like that, you can put her onto Glow Wings, and she's going to work out. Then let's go into the Commander Lorena. This one is plus 30. Good job. Plus 15. And man, she's fantastic. She's probably better than mine even. Um, you want to make sure that she goes after Camilla. So you want your turn order to be Azaria, Sinful, Camilla, then Lorena last. If your Camilla is slower, you need to reduce your speed onto the Reyna. They need to have at least an 11 speed difference between them to account for speed RNG. But also, we take we took a look at our Camilla imprint, so make sure that imprint is turned off so she doesn't go too fast. 100 crit chance, 350 crit damage. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And she's on pen set. Fantastic. Then use her on to Daydream Joker. She's going to do a lot of work for you going into your Katie's. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video as we went through and started to clean up this account. I'm excited. We're already getting stuff done. You have a great account. We're just going to shape it a little bit to help you progress as you go through and start your farming, really getting into end game and really starting to destroy RTA, which I know you're going to do. All the revenue from this video and all my videos benefits the Society of St. Vincent de Paul. And you can find more information on my channel page. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Give me a like so other people just like you can find it as well. Until next time, happy hunting and good luck on your battles.